If you're planning to use lead pages, then this video will walk you through how the lead pages platform work. We will cover how you can create a landing pages on this platform, what are the elements, like hierarchy of the elements, so you understand, because sometimes a lot of people get overwhelmed, what are the functions on the platform itself, so we will cover that. And then I will also list down as well the features that you should be using if you have a lead pages account. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how. One, two, three. Hey guys, so this is how the lead pages look when you log in. So in the lead pages, you're not just limited in creating landing pages, but you also have options to use lead pages as your site. They have a drag and drop website builder that is designed for non-web developer to help them create a website without you know, having any technical skills. So it's just a plug and play, super easy to use builder, okay? But mostly other people have used lead pages just for their landing page and they use other third-party tools like WordPress for their website. But if you want to make all things in one, then you can use lead pages instead. Okay, so in the landing pages, so let's proceed first with the landing pages. By the way, I'm going to tackle all of this shortly. What's the functions in this one? But let's just start first in the landing page. So in the landing page, you have an option to create a landing page, of course, or a sales page. And then you also have option to come up with a split page testing so the ai of lead pages will switch the designs on your landing pages depending on which one or which style is performing well okay and shortly i'm going to create a sample of a landing pages for you to see how easy you can use the lead page tool and also in the landing pages as well, you have an options in here to come up with a label. So let's say like your labels, you have a landing pages about the summit or probably that landing page is just for funneling, for um, lead magnet, for giveaway. So if you want to organize all of your landing pages or so-called sales page, um, it's highly, I would advise that you come up with a solid labels, okay? Because once you already come up, like you already um, set up your labels, you can just filter like this one. I would say, let's say, I just want to see all of my landing pages related to maybe summit. So if I click that summit and it will be filtered, like all of the landing pages are just exclusively for the summit label so that's the functions of the label so i'm gonna create a landing page here so we have these dots over here by the way i am blurring some stuff in here because this one is um very confidential so let's say we create a landing pages and by the way what's a good thing on the lead pages is if you don't want to stress yourself in creating designs lead pages have a, a very cool landing pages template that you can choose and let's say your landing page is all about for the forms or probably for the events they also have a good options that you can use in here okay so you can come up with the most what is the most popular landing pages or what is the new one and you can also come up with an industry style types of landing page yeah i'm not so particular with the color actually because you can just change the branding so i would say i am more interested in the category or the style of landing pages okay so i'm going to clear this out so you have an options in here to create to choose a boilerplate or a template that you can use for your landing page okay let's say i'm gonna choose this i'm gonna come up with like education or probably coaching stuff or personal development because she is a life coach so 
Okay, so I'm gonna click this one, start building, and lead pages will pull out all the elements on the template that we have choose. So what's the name of the builder? So let's just do that. You can change it later, by the way. So you continue. Then after that, it will take a couple of minutes depending on how long your template is. So this is how it looks right now. It has everything pulled out. Now, I think I have a tutorial about active campaign. So just like an active campaign, these lead pages have its elements. So you can pull out some elements in here. So there's, there's already a preset elements in here that you can pull out. So you don't need to start from scratch. So I would say this one is our color. So this is the hero banner. It has a background color, a grayish overlay. So you can also come up with, with that or add other ones. So let's say, um, because her website is more into pink one. So you can also come up with that part and then like that. And then just change the opacity to whichever of your liking and that one and for the font as well here like it's basically like let's start in first okay let's let's start in first like if you want so let's start first with the layout so let's say you already pull out the template in here and you want to see all of the elements inside you want to see what are the elements inside of this template so you can see it under here, so called layout. So in this template, it has a header on the top. There is a hero banner and there are some others. So we have two, four, six. So we have six sections in total in this template. Now, what if you want to come up like I want to add a form or other section. So just click this add section. Let's say hmm, I want to add a about one. You can even add more if you want to, by the way. So you, you choose like what type of sections you want to add. So I would say um, maybe pricing. So you can see all of the list of designs there. So it's already preset. Or yeah, let's jump into the testimonial. Let's say I want that. So just double click that. Just, just check that one. And then go into the, click the, this one then you will see here that there is so-called testimonial. Now, if you want this to drag and def in, in other on the top, so simply just click this, this dots in here and just drag it whichever in the placement that you want, okay? And then you can also rename client testimonial. You can also rename it like that. And if you want it to be like for now, let's say I'm just I'm not sure if I would I will have I want to put a testimonial. You can hide that for the meantime or keep it that way. And like this one is super self-explanatory. You can come up with a you can delete that one or duplicate that column. Now let's dive into the other styling. So if you click that drop down over there, you click this gear icon. If you want to add because right now the client or the testimonial is set to white color now if you want to change the color you can also do that so it change there as so you can see and um on the flip side if you want to add image there's also other options for you to do that so say like that it has an image on it so i'm going to remove this one and you can also play around with the pattern so Again, this is super self-explanatory for the like the settings area. So in the settings section, if you want to um, play around with the height, the padding, and the like the the colors and the timing of this particular section, then simply click this gear icon. Now in this area in here, this is the elements inside this section. So um, on this elements or in this section it has a two columns so one column in here this one as you can see it is highlighted one column 
two column for the content and three column for the content. Now what if I want to make it four columns? So simply click the add and add columns. And you'll see here there is another columns that added. You can also just, let's say I want to resize it. So it's super easy actually guys, super easy to do. You can just simply drag and drop that resizing options over there. So super easy to do, super um, designed for non-web developer. Okay. Now if you want to add a row, so let's say I want to add an image on top of the testimonial. So click that one and then instead of column, you set a row and you drag this because if you want to drag that on the top, so that's also possible. So let's say one and then this one is two. And like I want to add an image and that say I want to add no it's just I have this so let's say I have this column over there and inside that I want to add a specific widget so I want to add an image in it now if you want okay so I want to add so let's say this column so I've already set a one column over here in this row now inside the one column, I want to set or I want to add an image. So that is so-called widget. So again, the hierarchy for that is layout and then the section. And then inside that section, there is an option for you to add a row or a column. And then inside that row and a column, you have an option to add a widget. Okay, so right now, let's say I want to add an image inside the one column. You click the widget over there and say, let's say I just want to add an image. So you drag that on the first column and voila, you have an image. So super easy. And I mean, there's a lot of more of widget you can use, by the way. You can just click the show more over here. And yeah, there's a lot of widget here that you can use. Okay, um, go back to the layout section, sorry, layout over here, okay, you, you need to drop, you need to hover it to see this, this delete icon over here. You can also drag that if you want to, okay, but right now I'm going to click delete. This one is the reposition, this one is duplicate, and this one is the edit. So inside the widget, Again, inside the widget, there is a functions where you can delete, you can position, you can duplicate, and you can edit your widget. I'm going to create an hierarchy for that so you have like a guideline and put it on my um, article version. But it's super self-explanatory, by the way. So display around with a builder, super easy to use. And if you have question, if you're having a hard time to edit, then feel free to shoot me a message. Okay, guys? So I hope that makes sense. Um, I will set that for now into preview or draft because we will tackle the other elements that are the other um, features in lead pages. Now I will set this for now to, and then once, and then by the way, under the settings area, so you have here, right? So, and also like we have, we already covered the layout sections and widget, right? Now, what if you are a web developer? So you ha also have an options in here to use a custom CSS if you want to be more advanced. So you have an options there to customize the layout beyond the template in here okay and yeah so this one is for the image and then this one for the like the the page width so super self-explanatory this style is more into global styling if you want to make the page width medium that it will it will affect all of the elements. So this is more into global styling compared to this layout and sections and widget. Okay. Now let's proceed to the settings. Okay. So once you're ready on the settings area, 
you have an options in here to fill in all of your metas or SEO stuff to help search engine understand what your landing page is all about. You also have options in here to set a specific keyword you want to optimize. And if you want this to be private or you don't want Google um, index these landing pages, it's just for invite purposes, just simply click this, I don't want search engine to index this page, okay? Now let's jump into the social. So for the social, this is more into meta um, tags. So as you can see, if you go into the Hollywood branded over here and go into the podcast, I'll just use my... Um, I'm a boss website for example if you click this one if and you share this into social there is a preview in here so right now it, it's not working as I expected so you, in this part you have an options to set a specific cover onto your social now for the analytics as well, if you want to come up with a tracking tools like Google Analytics, Hotjar, maybe you also want to add up AdSense or Pixel, then you go over here under the analytics. Now in this language, you have an options to set like if you want that to be an English or other language base. Okay, now, okay, let's just jump in and close that. And then I'm gonna set this to preview and then I'll go back over here click the add because I want to how you can set the label so if your landing pages doesn't have a label yet you just click this add label and then you choose the label that you want so let's say summit okay so that's basically it for the for the landing page now let's jump in to the sites okay for the sites this will be specifically for for static images or even for your blog if you want to so others are using WordPress and other CMS platform on their website and then they use other tool like lead pages for their landing page but if you want to be in all all at once then this um, you can also use this one because it is included in your package. But the downside on this is like, let's say all of your landing pages is already expired and you don't need that landing pages. You can opt out or you can cancel your plan and lead pages. That's why other people just use the landing pages. So for the site, you will be obliged to pay their or to be in their plan because you host your site into their platform. That's why others are not using lead pages as their sites. But I am still seeing like most business owners who use lead pages as their site. So if you want to click the lead page, you want to use lead pages as your site, just simply click the new site over here. And then the process that we did like creating a temp a landing pages is almost similar. They also have like a specific, if you go into the landing pages over here on the lead pages here, they also have a pre-made template for sites okay they have okay let me just open the incognito mode so you can see that lead pages over here okay that one and templates they have for the landing page, this is the one that we sh I showed to you earlier, and they also have templates for the websites like that. So it just depends on you if you want to use the lead pages as your site tool. Now on the conversion tools, these are the lead forms. Now for the conversion tools, um, they have four tools in here that you can choose. You can use pop-up, you can use alert, you can use open text and trigger links. And this one can be integrated both into your landing pages and into your website. Okay, so if you want to, let's say I'm going to click create a pop-up. So if you choose this one, and again, similar with this part, you can also like set a label similar with the landing page. You can set the label like what's this pop-up all about. 
say to create a pop-up, click the create pop-up, and then what it's all about. Um, it may take a couple of minutes. You name, what's the name of the pop-up? And then let's just call it test. And then they also have like a template for you that you can choose or you can just like what we did earlier for the landing page you can also come up with your own design so let's say I want to have a pop-up with an image and a text so I want to remove this one so I'm gonna remove this pencil and I want to be an image and then a text then that's also possible so that's it now if you want, if you go to the settings area, you have an options over here. Okay, once it's already published, like already final with your pop-up design. Okay, for the forms, so let's say you are good with the design. So let's say you are good with the design of your, your pop-up. In the form section, you can choose email provider that where the emails should be sent, okay? So you can choose the preset one or you can also choose to connect a third party email provider like MailChimp or Entreport or Infusion app. So it, it will depends on you. So that's how it works. Now for the lead pages, as you can see here. So let's say I'm going to click that one. I'll just publish this one for the meantime. So let's say you already have a published link over here you have like an option to set like do you want this pop-up to be triggered when the button is click or do you want to pop the pop-up to be triggered when the image is click or do you want to have a time pop-up or do you want to have an exit pop-up now in order this to work you need to get the code. So let's say I want to come up with a button click or on click pop-up. So every time the button is click, then the pop-up will trigger. So let's say, let's just choose a branding, like a color, for example. So let's say this one, and you can also um, like play around with the roundness of your buttons. So let's say this one, you're contented with that. You get that code over there. You copy that code, okay, and then you go back to the landing pages, so this one. You click the edit options in here, and then under the landing pages, choose the, so let's say um, you go into the widget, and then you choose the HTML. So I'm going to put the HTML over here, and then I will paste the embed code for the pop-up, that one save and then uh, let's preview that so now let's say this one i already clicked the preview now if i click this buttons over here now you see here that the pop-up is already triggered so that's how it looks always play around with the design guys um this is not a masterpiece of creating an awesome landing pages but i'm just showing with you how you can integrate the elements to one another so as you can see over on my other video like if you notice on the buttons it was um, on the left side it was set on the left side so you need it you need to put it on the center that and save and then preview and again just go crazy with the design um, i'm just giving you the, the default way of how you can change and edit the templates that's already offered by lead pages so if you click this one it's already centered because I set it to centered so click preview you can see that like I haven't set any images on, on the on the pop-up that's why it has this broken image over here now let's jump into the okay we're already done with the conversion tools right so you have an options to set a pop-up an alert an open text and a trigger text okay the process is still the same you need to get the code you need to paste it onto your landing pages or into your website now under the leads these are all the submission coming from your probably your landing page or your conversion tools or in your pop-up because in your landing page you might put a contact widget you might put a, a lead 
tools where people need to sign up their information their their details so in the leads over here you can see all of the people who open to your landing pages and you will see over here like in which form they open so the source and the form name okay on the brand thing you have an options over here to set up your brand color your aesthetic so you don't need to pull like do the same process like setting the image setting the branding for you just set the brand colors over here and it this one will be integrated into your landing pages into your website and into your pop-ups now for the images these are all the images that stored or you uploaded in the lead form so when you create a landing page over here and let's say if you click the edit here so like I'm gonna set a widget and then an image here drop and then I want to add an image just for example so you click this image and then you have like here these are all the uploaded image you have done so far you can also upload your own and once you have uploaded an images it will be stored over um, in the image section premium ones if you want to get a stock photos um, lead pages is already a stock photos that you can purchase uh, they partnered a stock photos company and instead of going on other an external site um, there is an option for you to just use it or do it on inside the lead pages but I think the downside on this is this one is a bit expensive compared to the other stock companies that are st selling stock photos okay now let's jump into the lead magnet now this log lead magnet is connected to your conversion tools so if you can see here over on the pop-up so for example on the pop-up and I go into the edit sections here you go into the like click the form then you have an options here to integrate a lead form so lead magnet is something that let's say they already submitted your like their email address you can set something on your lead magnet to send an email let's say after an hour or after a day or immediately so under the lead forms let's go back to the lead form go back refresh that one so under the lead magnet and if I jump in over here, the one that I we read, that's already created, I think this is still trust. So this one, like they have like an options in here to come up with an email, like a subject email, and then a form, a file, like that. So that's the lead magnet all about. Now for the integration, this is more into integrating third-party tools into the lead pages for example most of this by the way are um, forms related like for example active campaign if you want to integrate Infusionsoft which she did um, MailChimp and other email provider and then aside from email provider you are not limited to other tools like um, they also have Zapier. You are also not limited to other tools like you can um, integrate your Google AdWords on your lead pages, your webinar, um, intercom, and a lot more. So they have a lot of integration over here happening. And under the domains thing is, this is more into if you want to have a specific domain URL into lead pages. So right now, she just used uh, default lead pages domain that is free from lead page, so this one. You will notice that it's free. It's coming from lead pages because of the external extend extension. So leadpages.com. So if you want to, let's say, I want to have a domain like bookwormhead.com slash the name of the landing page, that's also possible. You just need to connect and then set something on your lead page into your C name or A records in order that to work. And last part will be the support. So 
you have you can send a ticket to them them I'm not sure if they have live chat but yeah they only have email support so that's really how it works over there and I also want to point out as well in the landing pages what I what's the good thing of lead pages here is it has a analytics options what's like let's say like for example this one is getting a very good conversion rate which is 300 percent now you can come up or you can duplicate this landing pages and we run another Facebook ads campaign or other campaign whether it's an organic approach or a paid approach okay as I said with you they have their own analytics so aside from if you want to integrate a Google Analytics we also have a very good analytics over here that is already built in you can see like how much is the views how much is the unique visitors so for the views um, let's say these are the people who visited your website but the refresh is counted for the views so that's why you will notice that the unique visitors is lesser compared to the views because these views maybe are there are there's a, other people who refresh or visited the landing pages multiple times and it is counted in the views unless for the unique one once you already visited the site because they use cookies for that so once you already visited the site it will only count as one okay for the conversion how much people who converted or open to your form or probably purchased your plan then they have this stats and the conversion rate you know what that means and yeah that's it guys i hope you find it valuable i'm going to create a article version for that for you to check out in case i miss some information in this video <laughs>